fun that I submitted this week because, uh, well, two reasons actually, but, um, partly because I saw them live on Thursday um, and they were absolutely amazing. And I met them a few uh, weeks, maybe a couple of months ago um, at a Rift Taff event, funnily enough, so another Rift Taff or a band I've met through Rift Taff Music Networking. And um, they were really cool and they gave me a copy of their first album and I was into it in the car. I was like, oh, this is cool. Um, and then I went to see them and they were supporting the Flam, who you know we love. Uh, and I think they're punk and you think they're garage and that's another <laughs> story um, and and they said oh look we're, we're, we're just waiting for our tracks to be mastered we're going to release a new album in a few months and we're literally just waiting I said oh how quickly can you get them and he got them to me I think it was earlier today um, I said any chance so I said yeah absolutely so again brand new for New Music Saturday which we love um, not released not even heard probably by all of the band yet <laughs> because they only came probably came to me before them so uh, brand new track uh, really cool band and uh, yeah uh, again I think you'll love it here you go with crazy kind of way dig this That was Shotgun 21 with a crazy kind of way. And man, was that ever ska punk influence. And man, that struck a chord right there. That was super cool because, you know, like, even though I love my 60s and 70s, a lot of different types of music, I had a big ska phase there and I'm still into ska and punk. And man, that was a great tune. I love the horns. Like, that really, really got me going. Like, I just want to get up and start skanking, man. That was a great tune. I love it. <laughs> Well, that was it, and that's what we did. So, you know, a friend of mine uh, came down with me, um, down, down to this gig in Brighton on Thursday. We had a fair amount to drink, and there was a lot of dancing, and a lot of oh, old school skanking, and all, all sorts <laughs> of stuff. Um, and these guys do so much stuff. I mean, they call themselves indie rock, and it's like that's the one genre they don't do. Um, <laughs> but I guess, I guess they can, they can decide. They just they're a really good rock band. They do all kinds of cool stuff. The the, the keyboard player's got a nice setup, and he does some cool little um, trills and uh, uh, sort of um, things with phasers live and all sorts. It's really cool. Um, but, you know, this is going to be. You know, I've heard four tracks. I don't know if it's a four-track EP or if it's an album and there's more to come, but the four tracks I've heard are amazing. Uh, and there's no release date or anything yet, so it's really fresh. And I'm sure we'll hear a lot more of them on the show over over the next few weeks when they release it. Great band. Yeah, I was really enjoying it too. I was saying to Mike offline, I said, I said this is like, uh, it, it was so poppy and like happy. 
Um, it did have that, it did have that like punk Scott feel to it. Um, but with the keyboards in it, it added such a really cool element because it was almost like, it was almost like the music from an awesome game show. Right. Like it was, it was really, really cool. Like I was really into it. So it, it definitely made you, uh, it, it was definitely exciting. And, uh, it, I'm, I would love to hear the rest of the EP. I mean, this is, this was definitely kind of cool. It was, it was, uh, it was something that I would love to see live too. I can only imagine that these guys are probably pretty wild live and just like you said mike i bet with the keyboard stuff um it sounds like there's a lot of cool hidden gems and stuff like that that this guy does yeah right on so next up is a band called jupiter in velvet and he's been very very good to show but i always sing along new tunes they actually sent me one of his cds as well he's a great guy uh i have yet to interview him though which i'm hopefully they'll happen soon because he's been uh uh good to the show for the past two two and a half years or so so this newest one by him, this one's called Only I Can Bring Me Down. Dig this. Say goodbye to sad all the things never had. Say hello to glad I'm gonna turn this ship around. Cause only I can bring me down. Oh yeah. Oh. Jupiter in Velvet, only I can bring me down. And you know what? This guy is nothing short of amazing just because you never know what you're going to get from him. I mean, he, he does have somewhat of a certain style to like like late 60s, early 70s and mixed like with pop and stuff like that. But the the, the, the vocals are definitely unique uh, to say the least. And he, he's always a lot of fun because, like I said, you never know what you're going to expect from him and what kind of tune you're going to get because they're always, always different. And... 
hats off to him because uh, it's it's the great music and thank you so much for being such a big fan of the show. And we have to get you on the show at one point very very soon. Definitely, I want to know what goes on inside that guy's head. Yeah, <laughs> that was amazing. That was like uh, that was like a cross between David Bowie and Space. Um, that was just. Oh, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> um, Brian will tell you all about how much he creamed over the bass line, <laughs> I'm sure, but uh, I just enjoyed the whole thing. All the little lead bits and the, just the energy and everything. It's just like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what it was a very, say? very, it was a very unique song, and it was all unique in good ways. The, uh, the vocals were very, very different, and I was very into them. They were very, very cool. Um, the the bass line really started to jump out at us and we were like wow listen to that and then after a while we were just like oh this guy's just showing off now yeah. he's just he he was he was thinking about this show when they were writing and producing <laughs> this song and uh he had to have somebody somebody told him about birthday bass line because i said right away i'm like whose birthday is it? this is fantastic <laughs> And, um, and it truly was, and it had such a great feel to it. And the one thing that I really came away from and with, I came away from with this song was that, and I said it offline, I said, you know, this is a song that this band cannot be really working when they do this because it sounds so fun. It sounds like it's like what bands and good artists were meant to do when they get together. And this is this is like uh, this is such a, a great example of, you know, just people getting together, having fun, making music. And this is like this makes you want to go out and be an artist and, and do different things. So I, you know, kudos, kudos to uh, Jupiter as well. But they're uh, they're fantastic. Right on. So next up, we have another new one by one of my personal favorites and uh, they will be on NMS very very soon this is none other, none other than the Swiss Condition and this author new album We Defy Oblivion and the song is called Don't Cross Me, dig this <laughs> <laughs> 